Hello everyone, and today I'm going to be doing a video on how to clean and then oil um, your air filter. I'm doing this on my Raptor 250 quad bike, but this is basically going to apply to any quad bike or dirt bike um, that uses a foam air filter. So let's get into this. The first things you're going to need, you're going to want to just get like some latex gloves, um, anything really, because you're going to be using like chemicals and stuff. You're going to want to get some waterproof grease. This isn't exactly the best one, but basically any waterproof grease will do just to seal around near the air filter. The next thing you're going to want to get, and this is for cleaning the air filter, um, I'm just using like um, dish soap, like fairy liquid, but you could get a proper air filter cleaner if you wanted to, but this does the job as well. The next thing you're going to want to get is, um, I'm using brake cleaner, but you can use some sort of contact cleaner or anything, and that's going to be for cleaning around the air box and the cage. You're also going to want to get some paper towel as well. And then the actual oil itself, I'm using this no tour oil. As you can see, it's like biodegradable and non-toxic and stuff. Um, it's about £6.99 for a bottle. And yeah, it, that's the stuff I'm using and it does pretty well. Okay, the next thing you'll need are the, uh, a couple buckets. Um, but if you don't want to use a bucket for the oiling, you can just use a bag. But you're going to need a couple buckets for the cleaning. The first thing we're going to want to do is take off our seat for a dirt bike. Obviously, this is going to be a couple of bolts at the side, but with this bike, you just literally pop the seat off the back. Then we're going to want to take off the lid of this. Again, this wouldn't be on a dirt bike, but this will be. A, this is applicable to the Raptor 250. We're going to want to take that off, and then literally, it's pretty much as simple as just undoing this sort of um, butterfly clip. Just undoing that. Okay, once you've unscrewed that, just go ahead and take that out and make sure you have got gloves on for this because it's pretty oily and tacky and just not good. And then literally just lift that out. And as you see, it's, it's fairly dirty, so this did need a clean. What I've done is just put some paper towel in there just so nothing, like, um, any dirt falls in there while we're not, while there isn't an air filter in there. Now what I've done is um, filled this bucket um, about half full with sort of warm water and then I'm just going to go and put a load of um, fairy liquid in there or you could go ahead and put in um, your specific air filter cleaner if you're doing it that way but I just went ahead and put in quite a lot of fairy liquid. It's kind of a cheap way of doing it and I think it does, it does a fairly good job. Then what you're going to want to do is take off your air filter cage. A dirt bike one will have like spikes through it so just be careful not to rip anything but this one was pretty simple to just pull out. Yeah, so as you can see, it is pretty dirty. We're just literally going to go ahead and dunk that in and just really just massage it, just really like um, rub in the fairy liquid and just let it sort of soak and, yeah, just sort of do your own thing with that, really. Getting two hands on it is better. It was quite awkward of me doing it here with the camera there, but later on I did it a bit better. And then literally just do that maybe around the five-minute mark and that should and that should do the job. Okay guys, so as you can see now, I've finished doing it and it is looking a little bit cleaner, I think. Um, and all I did was literally just um, found a bit of grass and just squeeze out the kind of excess. Don't wring it out though, because that can like cause rips and stuff and then you're going to have to go and get a new air filter. Um, so yeah. Okay, so it should be pretty clean. I think I got most of the dirt out there. Then what I did was just got, um, again, it looked fairly warm water but clean this time, no fairy liquid, and just rinsed, rinsed it out, again sort of massaging it just to get any of the kind of excess fairy liquid out really. And then what you're going to want to do is go ahead and just grab a bit of paper towel. Luckily um, the weather today was actually pretty nice. Um, and just, yes, yeah, squeeze out any kind of remaining clear water and then just literally place it on the paper towel and then I just went ahead and wrapped another bit over the top um, and just and then what I did afterwards was literally just squeezed it all out and then you could take away the paper just to leave it dry um, so yeah I'll come back when it's finished drying okay guys so while um, our air filter is dry I've got a few other things to do to prep for it we're going to go ahead and take the air filter cage that we took out earlier and we're going to go ahead and grab some brake cleaner, contact cleaner, whatever you've got handy um, a bit of tissue, kitchen towel, whatever, and literally just wipe that off so that if it, because it's quite likely that that's going to be bit, be dirty as it's been in with the dirty air filter, so that when we um, have our nice clean air filter, we're not just putting a dirty cage back in and just ruining all the cleaning we've done. Okay, the next thing you want to do is clean around the outside of the air box just so you don't get, like, um, flow, throw any other mud in there. And then 
all I did was um, again get some brake cleaner and tissue and just um, take off the old grease that was um, around where the um, the rim of the, where the air filter was before. Take that off because we're going to put new stuff on anyway, and it's probably um, muddy as well. And then yeah, I just went around and cleaned um, the airbox because it is surprising how dirty it does actually get. So yeah, like as you can see there, it got it gets pretty bad in there. So make sure you clean that out. So when we put the new air filter in, it's all fresh and ready to go. Okay guys, now what we're going to go ahead and do is do pretty much the most important thing. Um, we're going to go ahead and oil the air filter. So put on a um, pair of gloves. Even though we are doing it in a bag, it still, if it leaks out or anything, it, this stuff is super tacky. So it's going to be super hard to get off. Um, if you're using the bucket, then just pour the oil rather than pouring it into the bag like I'm doing here. Just pour it onto the air filter, but just over the bucket. And all I did here was put in the air filter. Don't worry, I'm going to speed this up for you guys so you don't have to sit through it. All, all of it of me doing it. Um, I say I pro probably I probably did it for quite a long time. Just basically kept on massaging it and make sure you take the air out of the bag. Otherwise, it's not really going to work. Um, but yeah, just kept on massaging it um, until it kind of looked fairly evenly coated. Every now and then, I did add a little bit more when I thought I needed it. But you'll start to sort of guess that over time how much roughly you think you'll need. Like I said, this was this one was a little bit harder to see. Um, how evenly I've covered it as it the air filter is pretty much it's kind of well it's pretty much black whereas if you had like a white air filter um, it would probably be easier to see the spots you've missed so um, this really was a bit of a guessing game but I covered to me it looked like I covered most of it and it's better than nothing so um, yeah and then what we're going to go ahead and do after this is just I'll show you how we're going to put in the bike and everything so yeah Okay guys, the first thing you're going to want to do to install this air filter is that cage we cleaned earlier on, you're going to want to go and grab that and literally just slip it inside um, of the air filter. It's pretty simple to do. If you're on a dirt bike, there'll be some spikes to line up. On this particular one, there was just like a piece of black plastic that you lined up with, um, with a hole in the top of the air filter. So that was pretty simple to do. Then all you need to do is make sure you get the bolt from earlier um, on that you took out earlier on and just make sure that that washer is actually pointing upwards. You might notice I've already put some grease on um, I just did that to make sure 100% sure it was going to bond um, I don't know if it's um, essential to put it on the plastic as well but it is pretty essential that you've got it on on the rim of the air filter okay guys so after we've unfitted um, the cage and got the um, bolt ready with the washers the right way around and everything like that now we need to go ahead and place it I'm just going to go ahead and put it in at first, it seems like it isn't... At first, to me, anyway, it seemed like it isn't really bonded that well. But once you've actually um, put the bolt in and everything, it's actually fine. Just make sure that it's pretty much lined up. You might have to, like, feel down the bottom for it. Um, but it should it should seal fairly well. And you might have to, like, lift it up just to make sure you've actually aligned the bolt quite um, right. Um, if you feel that you need to put, like, an extra bit of grease on, un um, on under the sort of lip of the um, air filter, then go ahead. I did um, at the end. Um, and then literally just go ahead, screw that in. Just, again, keep keep on checking that it's li aligned. And then literally just go ahead and screw that in. It does take quite a lot to actually... I was quite surprised. It does actually take quite a long time. And once you've screwed that in and it won't go any further and it's pretty much tight and you've checked that it's all sort of... everything's sort of flush with... Um, with the sort of air boot you can go ahead grab your lid and literally just place that back on tighten up well not tighten up sorry just clip on all of those clips on each corner and then we can go ahead and put the seat back on with the raptor it's just and pretty much every other quad it's just gonna the seat literally just um slides and clips back on if you've got a dirt bike you have to put those bolts um back on and that's it guys, now you're all ready to ride the clean air filter, um, all ready and oiled. Um, hopefully that video helped you out. Um, if you do have any questions, then feel free to leave them below. All of the products that I've actually used in this video are linked down below. Um, and yeah, don't forget to leave a like, that would be awesome. And don't forget to subscribe so you know when all my other videos are out. So yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll be back with another video really soon. Bye! Feeling better, better than I ever did before In my rain jacket like Lil Monkey George